Hello everyone, welcome to our channel, Immigration Station TV. In today's video, we are going to be talking about the pathway to Canadian residency. Canada is known for its diverse population and welcoming immigration policies, making it a popular destination for immigrants from all over the world. If you're considering immigrating to Canada and becoming a permanent resident, there are several pathways available to you. In this video, we'll explore each of these pathways in detail, so you can make an informed decision about which one is right for you. One of the most common ways to obtain Canadian permanent residency is through family sponsorship. If you have a spouse or common law partner, children, or parents who are Canadian citizens or permanent residents, they may be able to sponsor you for permanent residency. To be eligible, your sponsor must meet certain income requirements and agree to provide financial support for you for a period of time. Another option is the Express Entry System, which is a points-based system that evaluates applicants based on their age, education, work experience, language skills, and other factors. The system is designed to select candidates who are most likely to succeed in the Canadian labor market. If you're selected from the pool of applicants, you may be invited to apply for permanent residency. Express Entry is a popular pathway because it's fast and efficient, with most applications processed within six months. If you're a student, you may be eligible for the Canadian Experience class, which is a pathway to permanent residency for individuals who have completed post-secondary education in Canada and gained work experience in the country. This pathway is particularly attractive because it doesn't require a job offer from a Canadian employer. Instead, you can apply based on the work experience you've gained while studying in Canada. For skilled workers who have a job offer from a Canadian employer, the Federal Skilled Worker Program may be a good option. This program is designed to attract foreign workers who have the skills and experience that are in demand in the Canadian labor market. To be eligible, you must meet certain language and education requirements, and score a minimum number of points based on factors such as age, work experience, and education. If you're interested in living and working in smaller communities in rural and northern Canada, the Rural and Northern Immigration Pilot may be a good option. This program is designed to address labor shortages in these areas and help support economic development. To be eligible, you must have a job offer from a designated employer in one of the participating communities. The Provincial Nominee Program is another pathway to permanent residency that's popular in Canada. Each province and territory has its own nominee program, which is designed to meet the specific labor market needs of that region. To be eligible, you must have the skills and experience that are in demand in that province or territory. Finally, the Self-Employed Program is a pathway to permanent residency for individuals who are self-employed in cultural or athletic activities or who have experience in managing a farm. To be eligible, you must have relevant experience, meet certain language requirements, and have the intention and ability to become self-employed in Canada. These are the main pathways to obtaining Canadian permanent residency. Each pathway has its own eligibility requirements and application process, so, once you've chosen the pathway to permanent residency that's right for you, it's time to begin the application process. The exact steps you'll need to take will depend on the pathway you've chosen, but there are some general steps that apply to most pathways. The first step is to complete the application form and provide all the required documents. This can include proof of your identity, your educational qualifications, your work experience, your language skills, and your financial resources. It's important to make sure that all the information you provide is accurate and up-to-date, as any discrepancies could lead to delays or even a refusal of your application. Depending on the pathway you've chosen, you may also need to attend an interview with an immigration officer. The purpose of the interview is to verify the information in your application and to assess your eligibility for permanent residency. The interview may be conducted in person or over the phone, and it's important to prepare thoroughly beforehand to make a good impression. Another important step in the application process is to demonstrate your language proficiency. For most pathways, you'll need to take a language proficiency test in either English or French. The test will evaluate your reading, writing, speaking, and listening skills, and you'll need to achieve a minimum score to be eligible for permanent residency. As part of the application process, you'll also need to undergo a security and background check. This may include having your fingerprints taken and submitting to a criminal record check. If you have a criminal record, it's important to disclose this in your application and provide any relevant documents, 
as a criminal record can lead to your application being refused. Finally, once your application has been approved, you'll receive your permanent residency card. This card confirms your status as a permanent resident of Canada and allows you to live and work in Canada indefinitely. It's important to keep your permanent residency card up to date and to renew it before it expires. Obtaining Canadian permanent residency is a complex process, but with the right preparation and guidance, it's achievable. Whether you're immigrating to Canada through family sponsorship, the express entry system, or one of the other pathways, it's important to do your research, prepare thoroughly, and be patient. Thanks for watching, and good luck on your journey to Canadian permanent residency. If you like this video, please don't forget to like it, share it to your friends and family, and subscribe to our channel to have more content in the future.